Containment Core is a multiplayer first-person horde defense game with tower defense elements. Defend your base against waves of enemies as you work with your team to survive as long as possible. Use powerful abilities to prevent the invaders from stealing the crystals from the central reactor, because if you run out, it's game over. We are using Engine and Containment Core to verify item ownership, provable scarcity, and encourage a vibrant economy. Engine tokens will initially represent player equipable items that will provide abilities and buffs. The first step for using your engine items in Containment Core is found in the main menu. Hit the new wallet button, enter your public key, and then hit save, and then close. This will save your wallet for use in-game, and this will eventually be replaced with the engine sign-in functionality. The wallet we entered in the main menu currently has the Containment Core Founders Crystal in it. Now we're going to learn how to use this in-game, and to do this we've added a new station that lets you create new loadouts and edit existing loadouts. We're going to make a new loadout and name it Engine. Now we're going to give ourselves the abilities we want, Airstrike, Shotgun, and I'm going to go to the Wallet tab and give ourselves the Containment Core Founders Crystal. We're going to exit, go to our loadout selection, and we're going to select the new loadout that we just made. As you can see we have the abilities added on the right, Airstrike, Shotgun, and our new ability tied to the Founders Crystal, Deployable Mint. This will generate a steady stream of crystals for you and your team throughout the game. This should help you survive longer and fight harder. Our next plans include implementing more items, including multiverse items, refining wallet features, and more. Stay tuned.